Force. All right, that's right, ladies and gents. You heard me right. I said Geek Force. All month long, Cape Town Kids version 2.0 has been recruiting new Geek Force members who share my love for all things technology. All right, we've got an awesome day planned for this morning. Oh, wait. Did I introduce myself? Okay, no, I'm sorry. Forgive me. My name is Grayson, and speaking of forgiveness, that is the life app that we've been talking about all month long. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Now, I know I've been harping on how cool this technology is for the past few weeks, but sometimes Geek Force members like to kick it old school, you know? So every once in a while, I'll drag my Game Boy Color out of the closet and maybe play some Pokemon Yellow or Silver, and if I'm really feeling nostalgic, I'll ask Dad where he put the old Atari and play some Pong. If any of y'all know what I'm talking about, but... Yeah, I know, most of you have never even heard of Pong, but trust me when I say this. You've got it really, really good living in the age of Xbox One and PS4. Alright, anyway, I was thinking that we'd play a game using an old piece of technology. Some classic 8-digit twin-powered calculators. Alright, I'm going to need two small group leaders to bring one kid, uh, one kid who has the numbers. Alright, so this game is pretty simple, but speed is key. Now, our lovely AV crew is going to be putting some mathematical equations on the screen. As fast as you can, you need to put the number in your calculator, hit enter, and then uh, turn your calculator upside down. Then I want you to hand your calculator to the partner to read the word. Alright, so the first person that raises their hand and reads the word on their calculator gets a point. So let me demonstrate. So, 169 times 2 equals 338. But, when I turn the calculator upside down, it reads B. If you can see that, like a bumblebee. So, does that make any sense? The duo with the mo most, most points at the end is the winner. Alright, are you ready? Alright, recruits, go! There's so many all around the world With voices buried beneath We can't let our voice start to fade away You gotta keep fighting Bold as a lion But you can make a change On to the beat answer is 37,818, or upside down, Bible. Alright, so let's see who our overall winner is, shall we? Alright, good job to those. Now, speaking of the Bible, we will be looking at a story this morning in the book of Matthew where Jesus tells Peter the number of times we should forgive someone. And let's just say skills with a calculator are required to fully grasp that number. We'll talk about what Jesus said a little later, but for now, let's sing a little bit. We can't let our voice start to fade. 